Hey guys, welcome back to Fisherman Norby. Out here at the pond today, about to do a little panfish episode for you guys. Uh, we're gonna go after some crappie and bluegill. There's some giant fish in this pond and hopefully we catch them today. But happy Sunday to you guys. I wanna share with you a little verse that I was reading this week. It's from 2 Chronicles 1, 7 through 10. It says, that night God appeared to Solomon and said to him, ask for whatever you want to give me. Solomon answered God, you have shown great kindness to David my father and have made me king in his place. Now, Lord God, let your promise to my father David be confirmed. For you have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me wisdom, give me knowledge that I may lead this people for who is able to govern this great people of yours. And then verses 11 and 12 goes on to say, God said to Solomon, since this is your heart's desire and you have not asked for wealth, possessions or honor, nor for the death of your enemies. And since you have not asked for a long life, but for wisdom and knowledge to govern my people over whom I've made you king, therefore wisdom and knowledge will be given to you. And I will also give you wealth, possessions, and honor, such as no king who was before you ever had, and none after you will have. That's crazy, guys. Solomon was the richest king on earth, and uh, what he found was things of this world did not satisfy him. He asked for wisdom and knowledge that he could govern the people in a godly manner. And the uh, Lord blessed him with more riches, more wealth and just more blessing. So I wanna encourage you guys this week, whatever you're seeking after, seek after the Lord, everything else will fall in place, everything else will come to pass. So um, yeah, be encouraged. Anyways, let's start fishing today. I'm gonna to be using little tiny jigs. You guys have seen me use these before, but today is a special day. It's warm here in January. It's probably 65 degrees. I'm in shorts and a long sleeve shirt. So I'm throwing a 132nd ounce, jig head on four pound test with a little silver sparkle and white tube jig and we're going to be throwing that out letting it sink to the bottom i got to cast way out here to get past this weed line and hopefully we're going to catch some crappie and bluegill today i'm excited let's go okay here we go guys overcast this warm front in January, these fish should be feeding. So I'm using a cadence five and a half foot spinning rod and reel combo. I'm flinging it out there, letting it sink to the bottom, and then I'm just slowly reeling it. That's how I've been catching some fish, but today I just have a feeling they're gonna bite just because of the conditions. It's just warm, a warm front's coming in. There's a big storm tomorrow. They always bite before a storm, and it's just beautiful out for January. So not too windy, but you got a little breeze, which turns on the bite. So I'm excited. There's one, second cast. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a crappie. There we go. Crappie number one, guys. Not bad. It's kind of small, kind of small. Not a bad crappie. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get back out there. There's way bigger fish in here than that. And we're gonna try to catch them. We need something bigger. Oh, there's one, guys. Hooked up. Oh, this is huge. Oh my gosh, I got something huge. Oh, don't go in the weeds. Don't go in the weeds. Oh my gosh, guys. No way. I can't even lift this bluegill up. That is a bluegill. Oh my goodness sakes, guys. I don't know if you can tell how big this bluegill is. This is probably my new PB bluegill. This thing is so big, so big. Look how fat that is. Oh my goodness sakes. I gotta get the big camera out. Guys, look at the size of this bluegill. That is so big. That is so big, guys. I think down here in Alabama, they call these shell crackers. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm new to Alabama, but that's so big. I call them red ear in Missouri. Red ear do get big. Look, I can't even like fit him on the camera screen. This is crazy big. I wonder how long this guy is. Definitely a giant. You know, when you can lip him, I can stick two thumbs in his mouth. It's just a monster. Just a monster. I really can't believe that, guys. This fish is probably a pound. Pound bluegill. Look how fat he is. Super fat. Super chunky bluegill. It's my hand next to him. 
his tail's wider than two fingers. That's crazy. We're gonna throw him back now, catch another one. That was a giant. Wow. Here we go. Throwing Mr. Big Gilly back. There he goes. Oh, that was nuts. Let's get another one. All right, that was nuts. Haven't even moved spots in the pond yet. Let's cast back out there and get another one. Oh, got a bite. Come on now. Another bite. There he is. There we go. Okay, this is a decent fish too. Come on now. Lift him over the weeds. Look at that. That's a decent crappie right there. Yep, that's a good one. You know, he's probably, I don't know, 11 inches. Wow, they're crushing this white and sparkly tube jig. I'm gonna link these down below. You guys can check them out if you're interested. I'll also put the everything I'm using today down below. This rod and reel, they fight so hard on it. So fun, and then this little 132nd ounce jig head. I'm gonna link it all down below. See you, buddy. Wow, look at him. He's still swimming right there. There he goes, under the weeds. Th these weeds are such good cover for your fish. Let's get another one. There's one. Got us another one, guys. Fighter. Really big fighter. Yeah. That's another good one. Wow. Okay. I see you. I see you. He's probably 10 inches. Yep. Decent one. Skinny kind of. Back to back to back. That's crazy. They're biting so good. There's another one, guys. That's like, I don't know, four casts in a row. That's crazy. That one's not as big. Where'd the big old gills go? Fun catching these crappie, but I want to find the big old gills. They got to be in here somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I missed him. He got off. Thought we were going to have four or five in a row. I don't even know how many I've caught. Loading up. I think that's four. That would have been number five, I think. Jeez. This is awesome. Another one, guys. Oh, this feels like a good one, whatever it is. It's fighting harder than the last couple. Yep. Yep. That's a decent crappie. Okay. Look at that one, guys. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Throwing them back. Maybe I should keep some of these and cook them. I'm just casting out there, letting it sink. As soon as I start reeling, they just, they've been picking it up and just hitting it. Except for this cast, of course. There's one. Just cast it out there. Hadn't even started reeling yet. And he munched it. That's a baby. Very small. Very small. That's bass food right there. Got some big bass in this pond. I would say they have plenty of food. There's another one, guys. Munched it. They're fighting pretty good, to be honest. That one's fighting real hard. I wonder why they're fighting so hard. They're not like crazy big crappie. They're just fighting real good. Makes it fun. Makes it a lot of fun. Hmm. I'll take it. Let's get another. There's one. Man, they hit it so light in the wintertime. Then they fight hard, but man, just start reeling and they're just on there. Let's go walk around the pond a tiny bit, see if we can find some big old bluegill. Gotta jump this creek. <coughs> there we go. Definitely gotta wear your muck boots. Days like today, it's wet. There's one. Oh my goodness sakes. Crappie galore. 
There's just a ton of crappie in this pond, I guess. Well, sweet. I love me some crappie. Gonna have to keep some of these, cook them up sometime. If you guys wanna see like a catch and cook, let me know, we're gonna have to do that. There's one, hooked up. We got some other fighter, whatever this is. Oh, get out of the weeds. Oh yes, another big ghillie. Oh yeah, not as big as that first one. Still a really good bluegill, look at that. Yep. That's what it's about right there, guys. Crappie and bluegill, good panfish day. That's for sure. It's hard to beat this light, light jig. Plus, I haven't even changed jigs yet. I've caught all these fish on the same jig. It's way better than using minnows or using about anything else. This is just a simple, simple way to fish, catch these bluegill and crappie. There's one. Shoot. Stuck, guys. Broke off. I broke off. Just getting done out here for the day, guys. It's starting to get dark on us. We got probably, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes of daylight left. But the fish were flat out munching in this pond. I fished until I broke off a jig. This is where I started fishing. And I probably could have stayed here the whole time and caught a ton of those little crappie. Caught that one amazing bluegill. Amazing, whatever you want to call it, red ear or shell cracker, as the Alabamians call it. But man, that was awesome. That was nuts. That fish was so big. And then I walked around the pond trying to find some more fish, some more of those big shell crackers and i caught one not quite as big still a good one and a few more crappie but man they're biting so good i only fished for like an hour that was it and i broke off so i'm gonna call it for the day hope you guys enjoyed this episode this pond is fire so we're gonna come back here we're gonna make lots more videos i know there's some big bass in here i've caught one that was about seven cody caught one that was about six we're gonna come back here make some bass fishing episodes but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed Sunday's episode today. And uh, be blessed, be encouraged, uh, seek the Lord, and everything else will fall in place. So subscribe if you haven't, and we'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.